Hi, so in this um, video we're going to be looking at iterative formulas. These are um, a sort of formula which allows you to find the next term from a previous term. People also call them recursive relations. Okay, so you're normally given um, a first term and then you're given sort of like the rule how to do it. So if I wanted to find the nth plus one term, I would take the nth term, which is just the one before, and I'd add two to it. So if the first term was three, the second term, so this would be n plus one, that was the second term, so n is two, I'd take the first term, n equals one, and add two to it. So if I said the first term was three, the second term would be five. Okay, so here's an example. Write down the first four terms of sequence of um, given by this, where the first term is that. So just state the first term, and then I want to find the second term. So second term, this in here is two, See, there is two, and so that means we have one plus one. So that means our n equals one. And so I want to take um, the first term, so plus 5. So the first term is 2 and I add 5 to it. Now I want to find the third term. And if I'm looking at the third term, I have need 2 plus 1 to give me the 3. So we're having n equals 2. So I'm taking n equals 2. I'm taking the second term, add 5. So I'm taking this one, adding 5 to get me 12. And then finally, use the formula to get the fourth term. And I'm looking at the fourth term. I'm talking about the n plus 1 term. I'm having n equals 3. So I take the third term and add 5 to it. And the third term I found, and it was 12. So it's plus 5. And this is just a basic sort of arithmetic se um, series sequence, sorry, where you're just adding 5 every time. So that's sort of quite straightforward. OK, so here's a slightly different one. Um, and it's a famous recur recurrence relation. Um, uh, see if we can work out what it was. So we're given what you, the first term and the second term are. So just state them. And now we use the formula to find the third term. So the third term we're talking about the nth plus one. And so if it's n plus one and gives us three, our n must be two. So we're looking at having the uh, second term and two take away one is one and the first term. So I'm going to add the second term and the first term together. And so from here that's two and one, two and one, and that will give me three. And then I want to find the fourth term. So looking at this, when this equals four, you can see that your n must equal three. And so your n equals three, so you take the third term and one less than the third term, so the second term. So you're going to add the third and second term together. And so we've got three plus two gives you the five. And finally, we use the formula to find the fifth term. So the fifth term, we have n equals four. So this time, we use the fourth and the third term. So this is five and three and gives us eight. So the first five terms, one, two, three, five, and eight, and these are Fibonacci's numbers. So Fibonacci's numbers um, are created by adding the two numbers before the term you're trying to create. So the five comes from three plus two, the eight comes from five plus three, the three comes from two plus one. Okay, that's all I'm going to do on that. I hope that's helpful. Bye.